add this in the beginning of the video because I forgot to say any of this. Uh, I'm going to show you guys some clips to give you guys some examples and stuff. But one of the biggest pros of playing on a high sensitivity is you can react to your environment extremely, extremely fucking quick. You do not have to un-ADS. And I believe that high sensitivity is best used on light machine guns currently in the meta that we are in. I'll show you guys some clips of what I mean. But basically, whenever you have an extremely high sensitivity, you can just go inside the building and not un -ADS. You can literally look corner to corner, staying aim down sights. Why does that make light machine guns OP? Uh, some uh, There's only like two light machine guns that offer angled grip, if I'm not mistaken. It is Ying's light machine gun and um, IQ's light machine gun, which is the G8. So every other light machine gun does not offer the angled grip, unless I am wrong. Correct me if I'm incorrect. But why, why would you need angled grip? If your aim down sight is so quick that you don't have to un-aim down sight. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys some clips of me just doing exactly what I'm talking about with like Zofia and shit. So uh, I'm going to show you guys the clips and then it's going to cut to the tips and stuff. Let's go, yo. I'm inside. That's Jaeger. That's Castle. That's Thunderbird. Good dog, good dog. That's Jaeger. Oh my god! That nigga don't do romance, wake up, I get thanks to the Lord in advance, uh, this gonna be my baby. Yo, what's up guys, your boy Quirker JP, and today's video is gonna be a video I promised you guys a long time ago. I'm sorry, I'm just now getting it out. It's been like two months, I'm sorry, I know, but this is going to be a couple tips on how to help you guys control Hisense on controller and just so you guys know what I'm talking about so I've been champ three times on siege I've been diamond I don't even know how many fucking times but way before siege when I was like four years old I started playing first person shooters on a controller and when I was about six years old is whenever I maxed out my sensitivity on a controller and that's why whenever I first got into siege I was able to instantly max out my horizontal sensitivity because I was already used to it. So that's tip number one, actually. Tip number one is going to be whenever you play other games, whenever you play any first-person shooter, max out the sensitivity. And when you come back to Siege, you will see that when you max out your horizontal, it's no longer as fast because you're already fucking used to it. Like whenever I first came to Siege, uh, like I just said, I came from Call of Duty, I would max out my sense every single call of duty so whenever i came to siege uh playing on a max horizontal was actually pretty easy to me i'm not gonna lie to you guys tip number two is gonna be invest in some control freaks please invest oh i forgot i had the, the little hand cam where's it oh i set it up on a little tripod right here i forgot tip number two invest in some control freaks now uh you don't need these you do not need them but they help out so much. I have been playing with Control Freaks since 2015. And if I take them off, my accuracy will be shit. That is how good they are. And I'm not exaggerating. I'm not trying to fucking like clickbait you guys. are trying to fucking get y'all's money. These guys don't sponsor me at all. They just, Control Freaks just help out so much. Uh, if you guys don't know what they do, they increase your, your uh, height of your thumbstick. Uh, to go ahead and increase your range of motion so slight movements become extremely easier. Number three is going to be um, how to find your sense. I'm going to leave a little uh, a little 
quip it little thing i don't know like little little uh thing on the screen right here where it says uh how i'm explaining to go ahead and um, um find a better sense for yourself but until then if you if you you know if you're sticking right here you know it's fine i just want to go ahead and show you guys that your uh aim down sight sensitivities actually scale with your horizontal sensitivity so uh what do i mean by that so i'm on 100 horizontal right now so this is this is my th this is my 1.0 right here. This is how fast I spin whenever I'm using 1.0 on 100 horizontal. Now, just for an, an example, I'm going to go ahead and move this down to 50 and show you guys that it changes my aim down sight speed. Look. Drastically. Like incredibly. So that's just something to keep in mind whenever you're trying to change your sensitivities that your aim down sight sensitivities do scale with your horizontal sensitivities. And another tip I can go ahead and give you guys is to practice, practice, practice. Practice makes perfect. I know you probably hear people say it all the time. Um, just make sure your aim assist is disabled in controls. Uh, yes, supply changes. What the fuck? Okay. Make sure your aim assist is disabled in controls and also in display, disable V-Sync. And um, in your matchmaking preferences, what I like to do is you can put on either bomb or elimination and i like to go in small houses like uh coastline and house specifically those are the only two maps that i have active on t hunt and i just play t hunt i usually play bomb because you know that's what that's what bolo does and you know to to, to play like the pros you got to practice like the pros okay so here we have the website that you guys can use to find a better sensitivity for yourself so basically whenever shadow legacy came out uh rainbow six siege or ubisoft just decided to go ahead and fuck everybody you know um there used to be just one bar for your sensitivity and that would be it that you know that'd be your sensitivity for every single thing but uh as you guys do know there's the standard sensitivity inside the options yes there's standard and it makes all your sensitivities the same number but just because all of your sensitivities are the same exact number does not mean that all of your sensitivities are moving with, at the same multiplier. Um, I, don't, I don't know if I'm making sense. Basically, 35 sensitivity for 1.0 is faster than 35 sensitivity for 1.5. And that's what you're seeing here uh, where it says 1.0 scope sensitivity 35. And then 1.5 scope sensitivity 56 because the true equal value of 1.5 and 1.0, the, the true value for them to be equal, 1.0 would have to be on 35 and 1.5 would have to be on 56. And that's exactly what this website does and allows you to do is um, uh, for console, you want to put your field of view on 60. Uh, until they give us a field of view slider, uh, we can't really change this. And multiplier, just leave it on 0 0.02. Leave it on base 0 0.02. This is for uh, mouses, but you know we use controllers, so this does not apply to us. And you just type in whatever sensitivity that you want. Uh, for example, I'm gonna show you guys my sensitivity. This is the sensitivity that you see in all the videos and stuff, or all my older videos. And I know a bunch of people were wondering where did I get these fucking numbers. This is where I got these numbers and the, the sensitivity I've been using recently. No, it's not this number. It's this one. No. 44. I've been using this one recently. 34, 7, 47, 48. And it seems like random numbers whenever I tell people my sensitivity. But they're not random numbers because what this website is doing is it's making every single scope sensitivity equal just like it used to be in Shadow Legacy. And that's why it's called, or how it used to be before Shadow Legacy. And that's why it's called Shadow Legacy ADS Calculator. Because Ubisoft fucking hates us. And I have to make a whole fucking video on how to find your accurate aim down sight sensitivity. Because we do not have a calculator in the fucking game for some reason. I'm sorry you guys had to hear me rant. For the last, like, I don't fucking know, like, 30 seconds right now. But, if you guys like the video, leave a like. Uh, leave a sub if you guys haven't. I'm gonna be trying to upload as much as I can this month of March, like I said. 
because I need to I need to make it up to you guys. You know, I have not been uploading that much. So yeah. Uh, it's been your boy Quirky JP. Thank you for fucking watching. Even burning off my tongue. They looking for the end, not knowing when this shit begun. And if angels had a song for love, then this the song they sung. Baby girl, you are my number one. She wanted the statistics, so on a tangent I spun and I showed her everything that people up and took from her and owe her. And if I was a leaf, then she would be a leaf blower. Always gonna show her the pain that she just showed us, the game that she can ponder and saying that she.